Well, Claire, not long to go now before Derby Day. At the moment, Carlton House, very short price favourite. Is he the one to beat in your book? I think he is the one to beat. I mean, not just in terms of the performance he showed to win the Dante, but also because physically he looks, you know, strong enough, big enough, mature enough, seems to have a very good attitude. He's clearly been working very well at home. He has a bit of class, you know, is able to go a very fast pace without it being an effort. Um, and everybody seems to think it. Even Aidan O'Brien was saying today, you know, I look at the race and, and he seems the most obvious winner. Um, and obviously he'll be trying pretty hard to beat him with five or six other runners in the race. Um, I, I think he is, yeah, I mean, he, he seems to tick all the boxes and I'm just thrilled that, you know, we've got a story that everybody can really get involved in and that, and that reaches beyond the, the racing world. And, and that is what our sport needs. It's what any sport needs. Um, and that's, that's great for all of us. And you were speaking to Aidan O'Brien earlier, as usual, he's going to have plenty of runners in the race. Did you get the impression there's one that they're particularly keen on? I didn't really. Um, I mean, it sounds like Recital, Seville and Roderick O'Connor. And then he mentioned Treasure Beach as well, didn't he? I mean, I, I would have thought he'll have four and he might stick another one in there to make the running, which won't harm Carlton House, actually. If they can put in a decent pacemaker, that'd be fine. Um, it's slightly... And the thing is with Aidan, he's very keen never to not say something so he'll say you know he'll mention every single horse but I find that in the years when he's certain when he knows he's got one he says it and I just got the impression that he's not I mean you know Roderick O'Connor is a classic winner he won the Irish 2000 again he's clearly a very good horse Seville looks as if he's held by Carlton House Recital looks as if he's a bit difficult to ride I, I wouldn't say they've got an obvious obvious one and, and I think that's the impression I got from today and Coolmore also possibly represented by Paul Moi. And when you spoke to Andre Farb earlier, he sounded pretty enthusiastic. My favourite moment of the whole morning was Andre Farb because also he did this. He took the microphone from me, which and you said, oh, right, OK, then you, you want to speak. I mean, it's actually not a bad sign. It's, um, and I thought he was great. And he said, you know, this is genuinely my best chance I've ever had of winning the derby. And I don't care if that makes me unpopular. Um, you know, he is a great trainer, not just a good, he is a great trainer. And you have to respect somebody that says that. He thinks a lot of the horse, he, he sweated up on the way down to the start, but Fab said he does that every morning working at home, so, or every morning just being ridden at home, so not to be worried about that. I, I didn't think he came down the hill brilliantly myself, but, you know, it might be different going a slightly quicker pace, or it might be worse. <laughs> And we haven't seen Carlton Hill come down, Carlton House come down the hill. So, you know, you've only you've only got to handle it better than everything else does, and you've only got to stay better than everybody else does. You know, you're not trying to run against Shergar, or, or you've just got to be the best one in this field. And I, and I, you know, Paul Moir could be that, but I rather hope he's not. <laughs> and we also saw Native Khan that sort of slipped under the radar. I mean, he was third in the Guineas. That's as good a form as anything else. Yeah, and was 11 lengths clear of the rest of them. I mean, you know, anything that could get near Frankel, so it wasn't that near, but, you know, anything that could, could keep going, was that was immense performance. Um, Ed, Ed Dunlop clearly likes him a lot and likes the fact that there's no attention on them. So that's... Um, you know, that's a good sign, and yeah, he's, a, he's a nice looking horse, isn't he? And, and a lot of people, you know, in an ordinary year, a lot of people would latch on to him, you know, the housewife's choice, because he's grey. And if Kieran rides him, obviously he'll get a lot of support. I wouldn't think it would phase Kieran, he doesn't care if he beats the Queen's horse. <laughs> he's not, he's not going to apologise for it. Um, and everything seems to be going well. And the other big factor with him is he won't mind fast ground. And although they'll do a lot of work here to make sure that it's safe, it's going to be quick. I mean, they haven't had any rain. It's just you know, been desperate. But if I had to press you for a selection, it would be Carlton House. Yes, definitely. And, and, and I, you know, I haven't had a bet in the race. And I might back something each way just for interest's sake. But my absolute, you know, emotional and professional interest is in Carlton House. You know, I, I, I just think this is... I remember working on Wimbledon when Tim Henman was beaten in the semis by Goran Ivanisevic, and I said on Five Live, oh, you know, it's, be, it's a great story because Goran Ivanisevic is an old favourite and a real comeback for him. And John Invidel said to me, that is ridiculous. He said, there is only one story here that would have mattered, and that would have been Tim Henman getting to the final. He said, anything else doesn't register. And that's and he was right. You know, I was thinking of it from a tennis point of view because I like, you know, I like lots of... I like tennis, and, and therefore Goran Ivanovic which was a good story to me, but not to everybody else. And it's the same with this. W you know, yes, I'd be thrilled if Kieran Fallon were to win the derby or if France were to win the derby for the first time since 76 and Fab do it for the first time in his life, but that doesn't register with anyone else. The only horse that does is Carlton House, and that is the only story in town. 
outside the pages of the Racing Post. That's the one. And we can't make it happen, but my God, we can big it up and hope it does.